Big news and big names in the spotlight at the Code Conference in Arizona. Carl is there with the highlights. Thank you. Hey, Scott, uh, listening to you guys, uh, really it fits right in with what we're talking about here at Code Conference this year at the Phoenician in Scottsdale, Arizona. You know, in past years, guys, the conference has largely been about innovation. Elon Musk talking about Mars. Jeff Bezos talking about robots. But obviously this year, it's all about uh, breaking up big tech. Adam Mosseri, the head of Instagram over at Facebook, was asked a question that's now become pretty familiar to that company, and that is, what would we do? What would be the benefits of splitting up a company like Facebook? Take a listen. If we split it up, it might make a lot of my life easier, uh, <laughs> and it would probably be very beneficial for me as an individual, but I just think it's a terrible idea. I think it, it depends on what problem you're trying to solve. If you're trying to solve election integrity, if you're trying to so, you know, approach ish, content issues like hate speech, um, you, and you split us up, it would just be, make it exponentially more difficult, particularly for us on Instagram, to keep people safe. Right now, there are more people who work on integrity and safety issues at Facebook than anybody who works on Instagram. So that's a viewpoint we've heard a couple of times now, guys. Uh, we'll, in a moment, we'll hear some sound from YouTube's Susan Wojcicki, who seemed to struggle with the question of the company's policies regarding offensive content. And it's a pretty good lineup today here in Arizona. Mary Meeker is going to give her uh, internet uh, study. Of course, she does every year. Cindy Holland, the VP of original content over at Netflix. We're going to talk to David Solomon ourselves. He's also presenting today. And then tomorrow, Ed Bastian will have on our air from Delta. But, Jim, you mentioned that Needham call today talking about 50% potential upside to Google if the DOJ were to uh, help work to split it up. I mean, we're dealing with issues in big tech, whether it's privacy, whether it's China, as you guys just said, whether it's our own regulators. And that has basically subsumed any conversation about new products, uh, new markets, uh, innovation and growth, which was really the hallmark of this uh, conference for many years. So we'll see if that tone yeah. continues later on today. First, what a lineup you have. I mean, that is just fantastic. But, Carl, yeah, I mean, when I always thought what happened in this country was we were doing poorly, we made soda, we were pretty good at movies, and then these companies come, you know, Intel comes and Microsoft, but these companies are heirs to the world, with the exception of China, and no one's talking about innovation. Now, you had that a Mosiri Instagram. I mean, I I'm waiting for people to say, hey, when are you going to quit? Don't you hate your boss? I mean, hey, system quit. I mean, don't you? I mean, there there's just rancor everywhere. With We, we think there's rank or within Facebook. We think the FTC. We think about Senator Warren. We think about, I mean, you know, for all I know, there is the only thing that unites Trump with the Democrats is hatred of these companies. The Democrats because right. they're too powerful and Trump because he thinks they're all Democrat. Right. Yeah, we talked about the circularity of uh, sentiment toward tech, Jim, but hearing you talk to Scott a moment ago, I'm not hearing any of that built into the price of the stocks right now. Well, it's a good point because tech is leading this month. I don't think maybe investors just don't believe that that any of this is is really going to happen, that it's all election year bluster. Yes, and that yes. at the end of the day, the companies are going to are going to going to everybody's going to focus on what got these companies here in the first place. And they are going to focus on what they're not well, focusing on at code. And that's product and innovation yes, and all the like. And, and Carl, these stocks have become radically cheap versus, say, uh, Tableau Data yesterday versus, say, Okta, uh, Zscaler, uh, Zendesk. I mean, you know, these are companies that are selling at 50, 60 times earnings. I mean, we really you have mean, to you accept mean the enterprise fact these companies. Are 20. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you're still I mean, talking about yeah, it's, it's enterprise is versus. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I look at Facebook versus Hershey's. I look at Alphabet versus Clorox. I mean, you want cheap Facebook and Alphabet. You want expensive Clorox and Hershey. I mean, what is Hershey ever? What is Hershey invented? in the last 25 <laughs> years. I mean, honestly, what is, you know, Clorox, I mean, I is there they, like a... They did put an almond in the Hershey Kiss. That's very true. And by the Swiss, the Swiss haven't invented anything since the cuckoo clock. So I've really gotten tired of how great Clorox is because they have extra smelling Kingsfords. I mean, honestly, these companies are selling 30 times earnings. What are they producing? What is Coca-Cola producing other than water and sugared water? 